guys. Got the CS345 Echo chainsaw. Um, obviously sat for a little while, pretty grimy. Uh, guy states it won't start. Just choke it. So, I'm gonna show you how to go into this carburetor. That's the first thing I wanna look at because um, that's probably the most likely thing to be wrong. Spark arrestor looks nice and clean. He like said it does pull fuel through, so that's good. And it does have fuel. It looks and smells pretty fresh. So I wanna take a look at the carb and then uh, see if we can get this thing squared away. First thing I gotta do is take off the air box cover. And then the air filter. And there's our carburetor. Let's see these fuel lines look hard as a rock, so that's not good. Let me get the carburetor out. Okay. Get that out of the way. Like I said, this fuel line is hard as a rock. Behind here you have your throttle hookups to the back, right there. Your throttle hooks up there, and you have a fuel line down here at the bottom. You get this throttle out first. You're probably going to get some fuel coming out of there, and they do. I usually just pop the fuel cap open for a second just to let the pressure out. Close it back up. All right, so I can set this aside for now. I'm gonna have to replace some of these fuel lines, but I'm just gonna, I wanna look at the carburetor first. So this uh, fuel line is hard as a rock, so that's gotta get replaced. But anyway, let's look underneath here. And this, this gasket's not very good. It's down, so that's not gonna move very well. So that'll need a gasket for sure. This one moves, but this bubble's pretty hard. Kind of goes in and out pretty sloppily. And actually not too dirty in here. Usually I find a lot of dirt in that screen there, but it's not too bad. But some grime down in these, these ports in here. So let's get the diaphragm off so so far I definitely need fuel lines definitely need gaskets and I need to clean this carb a little bit it's not too bad but it is it's kind of hard so I would probably gonna replace that anyway let's get that off a little bit hard it's not real flimsy anymore not too bad in here and the screen's pretty good otherwise it looks pretty good in there so Pretty good I don't think I see any problems here I think I'm just going to uh, replace the gaskets and uh, the fuel lines and uh, this thing should be pretty good I think so let's get let's get a kit out so here's a new metering diaphragm A new pump and there's a new gasket for the meeting diaphragm so we don't need that that or that this gasket is actually in really good shape I'm not gonna bother with that one so let's put this one back together OK, 
Gas screw goes down first, then the metering diaphragm. Make sure that's nice and clean. Throw that back together. Now put the screen back in. And then we need a new, there's the old pump and a new one. You see how it's distorted there. So, goes on like that. Some of this stuff is uh, not for this. This is a Walboro kit, but there's a bunch of different Walboros. Um, so I'm not gonna replace all these other little things. They hardly go bad, but I uh, did replace these four gaskets and diaphragms. So get that out of the way. Carb is ready to go, I think. We'll, we'll know once we put it back together, see how it runs. But um, let's get some fuel lines. We gotta place this fuel line and a fuel line for here. And um, goes up to the primer bulb up here so let's just pop the primer bulb out of the top here there's little clips here uh, this is goes to the long one which goes straight down and this goes to the short one which goes to the to the return of the carburetor so I need to get two new pieces there cut them to length so now this goes to the long one this one goes to the short one carburetor back in which is easier said than done so normally what I do here is I hook up the throttle cable first not as tight all right throttles in I'm gonna get the fuel line out of the way it goes on the back one here there's a there's three here it goes on the very back side okay and then then stick it through then get the idle adjuster screw in that hose keep this forward we're going to take the return line stick that on the carburetor okay. we come in with the bolts to the carburetor um, this little hook right here that's for the choke that stays on top make sure that the washer fits inside the choke otherwise you're gonna pinch the choke down and it's not gonna move so we're gonna go like that well before we do that we get the fuel line on and that is not pinched so what I'm gonna quick do is just give it a couple pumps and just to make sure the fuel's going through it does the bowl, the bowl fills up there we go so now we'll put the car bolts on with the choke lever is this has to clip on as you're tape putting it on like that oh. there we go and we just got to move it around until we find those bolt holes Halfway tighten this down, halfway tighten this down. And make sure that that washer gets inside that choke. Okay, so 
that goes in and out. Looks like the other one down. Good. All right. Give it a quick try here. See if we can get it started. Choke it. If not, I might have to put fresh gas in it. adjustment and then I'm gonna clean everything up you know the, the air filters not in terrible shape we probably give it a good cleaning and uh, send it on its way for watching guys make sure you like subscribe um hit up my channel for uh other quick tips and tricks about fixing lawn, uh, lawn motion snowblowers leaf blowers chainsaws weed whackers you name it uh, appreciate it thanks catch you next time